Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, 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 everyone, and happy Sunday to you all. Um, you are not able to see my face at this time, but you are able to hear my voice. This is Alicia McCollum. And I definitely wanted to hop on here really quickly um, just to um, provide you guys with the wonderful information that I have pertaining to the sea moss. But before I dive in, as I always do, I always like to start with a quote. So this seemed to be very, this seemed to be very befitting um, for today's topic of discussion since we are doing the sea moss, um, sea moss gel recap. So the quote for the, the day is, a mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work if it's not open. Okay, so remember that. And I ask you guys along this presentation to please keep an open mind. Closed minds don't get fed. Just as we say closed mouths don't get fed, the same thing with closed minds. So I am here to share this wonderful um, product or wonderful um, superfood with all that are open-minded to listen, at least listen, and just to tune in to see what I have to say about this product, okay? Um, looking out for our wealth and our health, okay? This is what this group is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and skip on to the next slide. This is going to be the CMOS gel recap questions. We have what is CMOS? Where does it come from? What is it used for? What are the benefits? And how it is formulated? And my story with CMOS and CMOS gel. <laughs> okay, so clearly this is a picture of what the actual CMOS looks like. Okay, it looks like um, you could say like some very thin spaghetti uh, spaghetti noodles like you know and you see the little uh, small little bitty flakes on there that's the actual salt from the sea okay so sea moss is scientifically known as crondus crispus which is a type of algae or seaweed okay it's an edible sea plant similar to other seaweeds algae and other familiar leafy sea vegetables um, so, yeah, when I noticed that, you know, per, that it's similar to, like, seaweed, I thought about, um, y'all bear with me, um, the sushi, um, the sushi, um, that I've, you know, tried and that I've had before and how it has the seaweed in it, um, and now I actually use, um, seaweed in a soup that I make called miso soup, thanks to my beautiful auntie, she knows who she is, if she's tuning in. Oh, what an amazing soup that is, okay, with the seaweed. But yes, this is definitely a picture of what the sea moss looks like um, when it comes from the, um, the ocean, okay. I definitely wanted to provide you a picture so that you can be more familiar with the location of where the sea moss come from. It grows in the waters along the rocky Atlantic coasts primarily between North America and Europe. So it's a purple circle here with the dot where um, St. Lucia is. And for me, because I actually do make the sea moss gel, this is where my sea moss comes from, from St. Lucia. Um, St. Lucia is one of the most amazing, amazing places that you can actually get your sea moss from. I clearly, clearly, clearly have to say this and stress this to definitely do your due diligence, okay? But I do know for sure and for a fact that St. Lucia is a number one, one of the number one places where you can definitely get the real authentic sea moss, okay? Yes. So if you want to take a picture of this or go back and look at this for later purposes, um, please feel free. Um, you know, do your own due diligence, do your own research, but I definitely wanted to provide more of a visual um, this go around for those. Um, you know, hey, we're, I'm learning as I go along the way, you guys. I know that I am a visual 
learner as well. And so, yes, my thoughts were, oh, my gosh, why didn't I think about doing this the first time? Well, hey, I'm here to learn. I definitely wanted to get the message out. And within doing so, you know, got great feedback, you know, all those wonderful things. And I sat here myself and I said, well, since I'm going to be doing a recap, let me just go ahead and provide a visual. Even the ones that tuned in on my first presentation can also go back and watch this CMOS recap. So what is this called? I am elevating. I am evolving. I am doing something different. Okay, we have the note taking that I did on the CMOS presentation. Now in the CMOS recap, I'm providing you with the visual. You know, people tend to relate more um, with, with visuals and with text as well, you know. Everybody learns differently, so I definitely wanted to be able to come on and uh, fulfill the, um, the, the, the different ways of learning, you know, about things, okay? On to the next slide. We have CMOS use and its benefits, okay? So many people use CMOS for its claimed health benefits. And trust me when I say there are many, many, many uh, benefits that this CMOS is good for. Okay, now the top 10 benefits of CMOS is that, yes, it contains 92, hear me clearly now, 92 of the 102 minerals that our bodies need. Okay, go ahead and do your own due diligence. But yes, if you are not familiar with all the different type of minerals that our bodies need, hey, do your due diligence and go find it out for yourself. Yes. Or leave it down in the comment section and we can definitely have a discussion about that as well. I'm all here for it because honey, what I tell you, what I'm teaching my what I'm teaching you all and what I'm sharing with you all is what I am teaching myself, okay? So, yes, I'm out here for it. Okay, so another uh, benefit is that it supports a healthy heart. Yes, yes, yes. It promotes good digestion. Um, I do actually have some notes here um, about the gut digestion. <laughs> Yes, and um, those of you who are actually tuning in and watching this presentation, if you would also like to see more information, I do, I'm sorry, excuse me, I do have this information loaded on my website, that's at authentic-ali-me.com, I will definitely be sure to provide the information, um, at the end of this presentation, you guys, I'm, I don't want to mess up anything, so you guys just bear with me, because trust me, after this one good round, oh, she's going to get this down, honey. We're we going we gonna to be rocking and rolling next time, okay? Um, and the next benefit, it helps maintain a healthy weight. Yes, it helps to maintain a healthy weight. Um, I did state before, and, you know, it is true that it speeds up the weight loss, okay? It speeds up the weight loss, meaning that it helps to control the appetite and the metabolism. And I kid you not, um, well, yeah, I'll share that at the end under my story. <laughs> okay, the next benefit is it is a great post-workout recovery tonic. It is a great post-workout recovery tonic, okay? The next benefit is that it promotes a healthy thyroid. This was number one on the list um, with all of the research that I had looked into. Healthy thyroid was number one on the list of when it came to looking at all the benefits, okay? And also, secondly, supports a healthy immune system. Yes, it does. I am a witness of that. It improves the metabolism most definitely supports hair, skin, and nails, and improves libido. Yes, it does. Okay, so I know some of you are wondering how is CMOS formulated from the first picture we have over here, from the CMOS form to the CMOS gel form, where it's placed in the jar, okay, and looks like gel, okay? All right, so the formulation um, as to what I do, uh, how I have 
been taught, um, what I have, you know, thought about for myself as to how I want to definitely um, make sure that this uh, product is cleaned. Okay, so I soak this in water, not just regular water, not tap water from the sink, spring water. I soak this in spring water for 24 hours, okay, 24 hours, and sometimes Depending on how my spirit feels, honey, I go by the spirit. If my spirit tells me to let it soak for longer, I have no shame in my game. This soaks longer, okay? And then, once it has soaked for the 24 hours, okay, I drain the water out. And then I blend, put it into the blender and I blend it um, into the gel form utilizing more spring water, which gives it the gel form. Because once it hits that water and sits in there, it expands. So no longer is it the thin spaghetti noodles, honey. It's turned into the, the thick ones. <laughs> the thick spaghetti noodles, okay? So it's expanded into the thick form that allows me to place it into the blender i add in my spring water and i blend okay i blend um and for me i have to say that because it comes from the ocean just as if you go back where i stated you that it comes from um on the atlantic ocean of course it comes from the ocean so it's going to have that fishy uh smell to it well those of you who may not have any care in the world for that fishy smell, I have been able to do my own way of ridding of that fishy smell to where you won't even smell it and you won't even taste it on your tongue, okay? Um, to the point to where me, I know I need to share this at the end, but I'm actually able to take it by its lonesome, okay? Okay? Well, once I've blended it in the blender, I'm able to can it, you know, meaning to jar it in the jars. And for me, I have the 16-ounce jars that I do put my uh, sea moss gel in. I'm able to call it the gel because it has been formulated into the gel form at this time. I place it in the fridge. Um, yeah, and it stays there. It stays there in the fridge, okay? Now, unless I do have orders and they're having to be shipped out, I do like to at least let them sit in the fridge for a little bit and then go ahead and ship them out, okay? Um, yeah, so this is how it's formulated. Definitely wanted to give you a quick breakdown of that. So, my story with Sea Moss Gel. Um, being introduced to the Sea Moss Gel back in 2018, um... My, I have to say this, I didn't, my blood pressure, aka hypertension or whatever was, was under control at the time, but I was wanting to definitely do something to boost that to allow me to keep it under control, okay? So, I had already rid of the high blood pressure and had it maintained to the, you know, where it needed to be for me, my height, and my weight, okay? So then come along sea moss and I'm introduced to sea moss, okay? So then I said, well, you know what? It has wonderful benefits. I'm going to continue on my journey that I'm on right now with the way that I'm eating, with my exercising and all those things, pouring into myself positively with some affirmations, waking up, doing some meditation. You know, all this takes work, honey. You know, when you want to put the work in on yourself, you put the work in on yourself when you put all of that non, um, I'm calling it non-good food. <laughs> when you put all that non-good food into your body over periods of times, and then you're left with this disease. And so now it's kind of like you have to unlearn to relearn how to take care of your own body and this is exactly what i did okay so yes i knew that i was on this path to rid myself completely of the high blood pressure and so i did so and so once i was introduced to this sea moss gel hey i said what what better way let me let me just see let me be open-minded okay go ahead and take it with that being in my mind to also know that I'm skipping ahead I noticed that my energy was boosted my energy levels had boosted 
Honey, when I tell you I was waking up at least five minutes before my alarm clock, even though it's five minutes, that made me feel some type of way, okay? I didn't, I was getting in a space where I didn't necessarily need an alarm clock to wake me up, okay? I'm like, let it happen naturally, as things should, okay? So then I noticed that there was a boost in my immune system. Meaning that because I was winging myself, you know, I had already winged myself off of the high blood pressure medication, um, and then diving deeper into not taking any medications at all for any type of colds, you know, things of that nature, I noticed that there was a boost in my immune system, and I had not had any type of sicknesses like that in a while. And I kid you not, since taking this um, CMOS in 2018 all the way up until 2021, only thing that has actually happened to me was me having allergies. Okay, and that's due to me making a move from Arkansas to the state of Georgia. Okay, that's a total different state. Even though it's in the south, there are still different things floating around in the air that I'm not, my body at my age living in Arkansas for all of the, well, how old was I? <laughs> 30 something years. Yes, I'm not ashamed of my age, honey. I'm not ashamed. Don't be ashamed. 30 um, what was it? I, I think I want to say maybe 32. Anywho, 31, 32 when I moved. So living in the state of Arkansas all of that time to finally move somewhere else. Come on now. You have to think about this. My body is, is going to be going through some different things, different changes and in, in, in getting accustomed to, you know, the weather and things here. Well, the only issue that I had were my allergies. Pollen season came around that first go round for me, and oh boy, my allergies kicked in. But after that, honey, it was nowhere near as bad as that. And I have to say this at that time, I was not taking the sea moss, and I hadn't had any colds, I hadn't had any anything else other than when the seasons changed and that pollen kicked in because it's a lot thicker here in georgia but it stays around for two weeks okay and then it's like washed away like amazing okay so that's the only time that i actually had issues was when it came to my allergies okay so um yes that also rose into how it had cleared up the mucus in my respiratory system going through all these different times because i'm like okay well sometimes i would at least have a cold maybe once or twice a year honey within these past three to four years none of that none of that okay now my mood has definitely definitely improved um and not necessarily saying it just putting it on other people but i noticed it for self my mood for myself has increased honey let me tell you something. Even though I may be working from home, I have been on this, uh, I don't know what, I, I told you, I did, I took another break of not taking the CMOS because I wanted to document this for myself as to how it's making me feel. So I took a break and then I picked back up on it. I noticed a lot of the same things that are listed right here in this presentation. And also with that, I know that I am a queen, honey, and I wear my crown proudly. So one thing's for sure, since I have been working from home and been back on taking my CMOS kick, I dress up every day and might not even go nowhere after I clock out. I don't even care. I have this mentality about myself that I'm getting, you know, on my journey because I'm, I'm learning who I am, okay? Deep down inside, I'm learning who I am. Get questioned about why you dressed up because you're not going anywhere. Honey, that doesn't matter. That does not even matter. I dress up because I want to dress up. That's my business, okay? So, also, another thing along these three to four years with taking this CMOS gel, I noticed a big difference in my skin complexion. There was a major glow. I've had a major glow, and there have been some other things that I have also been utilizing the CMOS gel for, and I'm definitely going to be bringing that to you all later. But yes, I definitely wanted to come on here and share the CMOS, you know, what it is, the benefits, the uses of it, 
And I have one more slide for you. I use my sea moss in my smoothies. You probably have seen the videos and little clips and things of that nature. I dip it in my applesauce. Um, I pour it into my oatmeal, honey. And then I take it, my one or two tablespoons, alone. Yes, alone. Sometimes I have me a glass of water next to me, you know, to help. But the way that I have learned to formulate this sea moss to rid of that fishy smell, I don't necessarily have to have that glass of water. Don't necessarily have to have that glass of water. Okay. Um, but yes, I definitely wanted to.